What's up everyone, Matt here and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are gonna paint the calipers on my long range Tesla Model 3. I decided to go with the painting route instead of doing covers for multiple reasons. First, the price. Caliper covers typically cost anywhere from 175 to 250 bucks. So that was a big determining factor, especially when I only spent $30 to paint my calipers red and put decals on them. Another thing for me was thinking about how a caliper cover works. It attaches to the brake with screws and only leaves a few millimeters of space between the actual rim and the caliper cover. So thinking of longevity, I just didn't want something to go wrong. Maybe a screw comes loose and it pushes out, nicks the rim, and then it could create all sorts of problems. Now I know tons of people have done this without having any issues and i think if you're leasing a car it makes a lot of sense but for me i bought my car so i just wanted something to look super clean without any of the headache or hassle another reason was for service i didn't want to have to bring my car in and then have them have to take a caliper cover off and then put it back on i'd rather them just take the wheel off the brakes right there easy to service so there's only a couple things you're going to need a can of duplicolor caliper paint in whatever color you prefer i did red you're gonna need a gloss 500 degree paint. I used engine paint. As long as it's 500 degrees, you'll be fine. And the Tesla decals in whatever color of your choice. I'll put a link in the description below. Now the whole process is pretty simple. I'm gonna show you how to do it on one wheel and you repeat for all the others. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So there's a few things you're gonna need off the bat. You're gonna need these jack pucks. These protect the battery from getting damaged. They go under the car into a little insert and then the jack goes underneath the puck. So take two, had to go and swap out the regular jack and get a low profile one so it can fit with the puck underneath, treat the pucks. Let's jack this thing up. So what I recommend doing is jacking up the car just a slight amount. Then after you do that, you're gonna pop off the lug nut cover. You're gonna wanna put pressure on all of the little flaps and try to pull out evenly. Should just pop right off. Now, while the car is still on the ground, I would recommend breaking the lug nuts loose just a little bit. Then jack the car up and you can take all the lug nuts off entirely. Following this, you're gonna pull the rim out and use braking parts cleaner as well as a rag and clean the brake caliper the best you can. My car is only a week old, so the brake caliper wasn't that dirty. Now the most time consuming part, which is the prep. You're gonna wanna tape everything that you don't want to get paint on. So make sure you get the caliper, the brake pads, all the caps for fluid, I also use plastic bags to cover everything I didn't want overspray on, anything in the wheel well, and I put some cardboard pieces in there as well. Here comes the fun part. Shake the can well, do a little test spray, and then you're gonna to wanna to do light sprays around the caliper. I only did two coats on mine because that's all it really needed. Don't overspray, you're gonna get drips. Take your time, if you need to do three coats, that's okay. One can was enough to do all my calipers and I still had leftover paint. Now, after it's been drying for a couple hours, time for the decals. You're gonna unpeel the back, and with the clear film on top, you can line it up and put pressure to stick it on. Push down smoothly and then grab a corner of the clear plastic on top and peel it off slowly. As I mentioned, they do have different colors of the decal or you can also use the Tesla logo. So now we're gonna use the clear gloss. This ensures the decal will be underneath a layer of paint and won't melt off. Take your time, spray slow. I did two coats of this as well. Now that we're done with this one, let's put the wheel back on. It's worth mentioning, you're gonna want someone to push on the brakes or use a weight and put it down on the brakes. Keep your door open while doing this so the wheel doesn't spin while tightening the lug nuts. Let's check out the final product. Here's the rear caliper before I painted it. Thanks for watching and hopefully that gave you an idea on how to paint your calipers. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.